Welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. Today we're working on a very special project. We're going to free motion quilt around 3D objects. So this is, I'm just going to have a little fun, uh, do some loops, do some swirls, do some circles, do some paisleys, do some lines, do some boxes, uh, make some hearts, all of it, just to kind of fill it all in. This is a uh, special wall hanging that I made for Sobeka, and I would just like to finish it off and get it mailed to her so we can get it seen. Get it seen on her, on her wall would be awesome. I have it off the belts. It is 12 stitches per inch and I'm using black thread. I have a gray black, um, gray white uh, black for the backing and um, here's hoping it turns out beautiful. Fingers crossed. <laughs> It doesn't want to go that way for some reason. What's going on here? Being a little persnickety. I might put it on constant instead. Kind of. Let's try that. Okay, well that certainly went faster. <laughs> As you can tell, just loops, some circles, some lines. I'm just going to make my way. I have stitched out the word so, and then Becca is going to be stitched right, like right down here in this space right here. So I'm trying to fill in everything all around it so that S-E-W and the B-E-C-C-A all stand out very beautifully. Okay, and I'm just going to keep on going. I don't like it to mean so fast though. <clears throat> there. 
We'll try and work our way around here. I'm trying to maybe each square has a little bit something different or what have you. Maybe I can try and get back up into there and do a little bit closer. It's kind of hard to, um, maybe if I pin it. Hmm. If I pin it. Do I have a pin? Because I would really like it to be all, all tucked up as much as possible. You know what I mean? Okay, so there we go. Let's go on, our, on the outside here. There we go. Now we get down and under there. And it's all filled in. Okay, we come down here. And we'll do some more little circles. Because we'll do a little swirl. Bounce back here. Doing circles. There. Okay, we'll stop there for a moment. Okay, so, and then I'm just, like I said, I'm going to try and trace around. I think I might going to come in and echo the sew first, and then I'll work my way around it as in filling around it. Probably just going to do a micro stipple and these four right here to make sure that they stand out, uh, that sew stands out really nice. So first let's go in and try and get our echo in. And then just literally micro, just not micro, I guess small, it's not really micro, but just doing a little meander, nothing too exciting. Or maybe it is exciting. Oh. I really just want the 3D pinwheels to pop, as well as the words I'm getting stitched out on them, right? Let's go in here.
Okay. All right. We'll drop that right there. Okay. And then I'm just going to fill in the rest of the spaces with a bunch of little free motion uh, style stitches and then be able to, with the machine, uh, being, the, being the computer part, put in the BECCA for Sobeka. So that is our 3D pinwheel project. There is a, um, a, a project of us putting it together uh, via a collaboration with Miss Obeka and a, a, few, a few other um, uh, quilters and collaborators. So if you can find that video, maybe we'll put a link to that. It'd be nice to, to check that out and help support. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate your time. I'm going to keep working on this. And uh, you guys enjoy your day and take care. We'll see you soon, all right? Bye-bye.